Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Fates. And in this episode, we begin the second chapter, Gift of Ganglory. Safely, Gorn. Yes. Father, long have I wished to see you and visit Castle Krakenberg again. I feel like I'm dreaming. No. It is only thanks to your diligence that you are here. I am told you are now a warrior almost on par with Xander. You finally possess the strength to be an instrument of Norse power in the world. Will he be all right outside of the fortress? Yes. I worry about that as well. Isn't it dangerous for Korn to live outside the fortress's magical barrier? Listen. I appreciate your concern, but I earned my way here, and I'm ready to fight. Now, as you know, Nor is at war with the Eastern Kingdom of Hoshido. Yes. I've heard as much. We of the royal family are descendants of the ancient gods, the first dragons. As inheritors of that divine strength, we conquered those who oppose us with ease. One who learns to wield that power can destroy an entire army of common troops. Xander, Camilla, and Leo have already shown that they possess this power. I expect no less from you. Yes. I'm aware of your expectations, Father. And I've trained every day to become more like my siblings. You show promise, but you will need a suitable weapon in order to serve Nor. <sighs> this is Ganglari. A sword infused with magic from another world. With this sword at your side, you will crush the Hoshidan army with ease. Thank you. For this generous gift, Father. Hmm. Generous indeed. Now, let us see you put that sword to its proper use. Bring out the prisoners! Sir! Huh? Prisoners? These are prisoners from our most recent skirmish with Hoshido. I want to see your power with my own eyes. Use that sword to strike them down. Allow me to join you. My lord, my lance arm is perhaps rusty, but still serviceable. Felicia, will you join as well? Yes. Of course. I'm as much a bodyguard as a domestic after all. Uh, t to be honest, though, I was never that great at the domestic stuff anyway. Oh. I am Rinka. Daughter of Flame Tribe's Honorable Chieftain. What is your name, Norian Prince? Um... Hello. It's me, it's me, Corrin. Hi. Uh, Corrin? Can it be? Huh? Uh, do, do I know you? I don't think I do. Huh. I am Kaze, Ninja of Hoshido. Show me what you can do. Is that the smartest thing to tell your executioner? Just saying. Kill them all! Uh, alright. Guess I really don't have a choice, as we have to rout the enemy again. But this time we're actually going to do it. And... Oh. Is that... Eh? Is something wrong, my lord? Yeah. I feel something emanating from the ground. 
could it be? You're right, Corn. It is, in fact, another tutorial. Okay, I'll stop. But this is a dragon vein, and mastering them is very important to Fire Emblem Fates. Basically, there are spots on the ground which, once tapped into, can change the battlefield in various ways. However, only royals can do this, and you can tell if someone is a royal or not if they have a crown next to their name on the bottom screen. And since our father wants to see a display of our power, we should probably activate the dragon vein and wee! And just like that, all the debris has vanished. And that was amazing! You blew away all the debris! I cannot emulate her voice at all. I'm not even going to try anymore. Well done. Excellent plan, my lord. Now we can hide in there and ambush our foes. Cool. And since, you know, it's Gunter after all, we should probably follow his orders. And you should know, I'm trained to use daggers up close and thrown from afar. I can even hit enemies hiding behind walls. Because, you know, that makes sense. Yeah, Felicity. Uh, you're just going to sit right there. Let's move on to Gunter, who is going to tell us something important, and my lord, this is no mock battle. A mistake here could cost you your life, and he is not joking. If you picked classic mode from this point onward, if you lose a unit, they die for good. And if you lose a unit that is important to the story, such as Corrin, you lose the game and have to start completely over. So you might want to use a bit of strategy, unless you picked casual after all. And yeah, I like to speed up the enemy phase, by the way. I'm don't know if that's annoying people or not, but remember your training. Each weapon has strengths and weaknesses. You do well to consider them before you attack. This is the introduction of the weapon triangle in Fire Emblem, and this time around, there is a little bit of a spin on things. Now, ranged weapons also are added to the weapon triangle. Keep it in mind every time you attack. Basically, sword beats axe, axe beats spear, spear beats sword. Memorize that, and you will be fine in Fire Emblem. And make sure to also pair up and Indeed, supporting each other will likely be the key to victory. Yeah, that it is. In fact, it's probably one of the more broken things in Fire Emblem, but basically just being close to another party member increases your stats, and we'll, ooh, we're going to get a tech next turn. That's a bummer, but you know what? I think we should be okay since we're in this area after all. And here comes Kaze, although I think we'll be fine, and a ninja shuriken may not cut deep, but it can sap you of your strength. Your death need not come all at once. Or not at all, Kaze, since you're literally going to do zero damage to me because you're throwing basically bronze shurikens. I mean, not the most deadly things on Earth. But now you see that we have a red arrow on our unit. This signifies we currently have a debuff on our character. As you can see on the bottom screen, we have lower defenses, which usually would be a cause for alarm, but seeing how this is just a level 3 ninja, it's not the end of the world. So let's. Hmm, he's still gonna do zero damage. I guess since we're in here, we're just taking like no damage at all, but let's engage Kaze in battle and see how well we do. Luckily, our attack hits. This sword usually does not have the best uh, accuracy in the world, but hey, we hit him and we'll get a little bit of EXP. But yet again, that debuff will be applied, and if you get hurt, I can heal. Yes, F Felicia, you can use staves to heal, but we really don't want you to do that right now. If you could be so kind, though, and throw some daggers, that'd be cool, too. And you're going to notice that we now have a second person in the battle with us, and oh, we got the finishing blow. Nice. That is because when you're next to a unit, they can assist you in battle. Really the best thing in the game, and I regret nothing. Well, uh, you probably should regret fighting, uh, I guess you didn't really have a choice then again, but let's show Gunter off, aka the EXP sponge, <laughs> but his Iron Lance is strong against the sword, because the sword doesn't have as much range as a lance, I assume, that's how I always thought of it, at least in the weapon triangle, and yeah, compare the EXP that Gunter gained to how much EXP I gained, it's kind of not good to use pre-promoted units early on, but... We're just trying to speed things along and get to the fun part. And there we go. Felicia with the finishing blow. Got the last hit. And how did how did you do that? Uh, I was just paired up with you, and that's kind of like how it's worry. Okay, whatever. We will level up. <laughs> and uh, there's only one more unit to take down. And something tells me Gunter's not going anywhere. And behold, the might of the flame tribe. What, like, it's two damage? That's the might of the flame tribe? Gotta say, kind of negligible. Although, we didn't do as much damage there with Gunter because, well, 
that club counts as an axe, and I'm going to try and get the finishing blow here, because I want to get the maximum amount of EXP, and since our sword, Ganglari, is strong against axes, we should have no problem hitting Rinka and finishing her off. No Rian scum. What? I'm sorry, I just kind of had to do this to display my power. Wasn't really anything personal there. <sighs> so, this is how it ends. <sighs> they really are tough, aren't they? My wall Hoshidans aren't this strong. <clears throat> Don't just stand there, idiot boy. Finish them! Father? They're beaten. Want me to execute helpless prisoners? What? You dare question me! I order you to kill them! No! It's wrong. Insolent fool! I won't argue the point any further. Please forgive him. He doesn't yet understand our situation. Listen well. Xander, you kill them. And if anyone gets in your way, kill them too. Do it. Kill them all. Stand down. Corn, if you don't, I will be forced to. Big brother. No, Xander. I won't let you do this. Listen. Why do you refuse, Corrin? You know the Hoshidans are our sworn enemies. I know, but this is different. These people can't fight anymore. Why not show mercy? Uh oh. Please, Corrin, don't fight him. My dear sweet Corrin. No, 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 Leah, what should we do? Uh, what does this fall to me? <laughs> Father, I have dispatched our enemies on behalf of my soft hearted brother. Hmm. <sighs> I only ask that you will be merciful in your punishment of him. Enough. I will consider this matter later. Leo? How could you? They were beaten! There was no reason to execute them. Hush. Agreed. Now hush. <clears throat> Leo, did you? Hey! Enough of both of you. The battle is over. <clears throat> Mark my words, Corn. One day an act of kindness may be the death of you. Yeah? Perhaps. But if I'm kind, I will die without regrets. I see. Well said. Guard. I would examine the prisoner's belongings. Bring their remains to my quarters. Uh. Yes, your highness. Leo. Your spell. Yes. It was only enough to weaken them. Yes. I should have followed father's orders. But Camilla and Leo always have such a fuss when I do anything to upset you. Thank you. Leo. I'm sorry for teasing you about your collar. <laughs> You can repay me by not mentioning it again. Oh, wow! That was great, brother! It was. But I doubt this will be the last we hear of this. Father never forgets a slight. It is only my brother's kind heart that has bought your freedom. Disappear now, lest you be spotted by our king. I am not a hostage to be freed. You said your name is Corin. When next we meet, 
will make you pay for this humiliation. No. I was hoping the next time we meet, we could be his friends. What? Self-hearted fool. I'm a Hoshidan warrior. You do not understand what you suggest. Yeah? I understand that right now, Hoshido and Nor are at war. But I'm trying to plan ahead for the day that war is over, and we can live in peace. <laughs> I've heard rumors of a sheltered Norian prince who knows nothing of the world. I see those rumors are true. If we do meet again, the world will have no doubt taught you the error of your ways. And that concludes chapter two of Fire Emblem Fates. I gotta say, a pretty awkward family reunion. Hey, Dad! Kill these people! Okay, okay. Anyways, guys, this chapter showed us two very different personalities from our allies and Nor. Our father seems a little angry, but our brothers and sisters seem pretty darn cool. Especially Leo. <laughs> Anyways, see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Fire Emblem Fates. Bye.